this is totally random. Um, I'm actually feeling under the weather. I've been doing nothing but drinking tea all day. I feel like crap. It's totally like impromptu. I still have my background from Valentine's Day, so I definitely wasn't planning on recording today. But I am uploading my heat damage video hopefully sometime this week. Um, well, not this week, today is Saturday, so hopefully sometime uh, starting next week I will be able to upload it. I guess I wasn't planning on recording today or anything. But I am getting my color redone at a mirror salon at Carol's Daughter. And I did a wash and go today. It's currently drying. And I have these in here that I use to stretch my wash and go so the shrinkage isn't too bad. Um, but as I was doing it, I realized that I still have some heat damage left and I transitioned. I did not big chop. I did transition and I'm kind of tired. Like it's just so much easier to cut it, start fresh. I am not going to big chop at all. Um, I mean, not a lot of my hair is damaged, so I wouldn't really need to big chop unless I really just wanted a major haircut. Just have some ends. You see like these here that can definitely afford to be cut. Um, this side is a little better, but I do have um, still some like straight ends like this one. Well, no, like here that needs to be cut. Especially yeah, like in the back here, like all of those are like straight ends. So definitely need to go just wanted to like do this quick little update before i do my color because along with color usually comes a trim so i kind of just wanted to document how my hair is right now this is back here pretty good like these but this is just the part that i stretch to um elongate my wash and go so yeah i'm just honestly tired like i said i've transitioned um it took me a little over a year I started transitioning around last year a little bit before January and like all of this like my curl probably came to about here so I did make some pretty good progress throughout the year but it's been over well a little over a year now and I'm just tired I just you know want to cut off what's left it's not much so it's not like I'm really sacrificing length or anything. And if anything, it should be health before length. I'm more concerned with the healthiness of my hair more than how long it is. I've went from collarbone, literally shorter actually. My I cut my hair to about chin length. Um, and I was between chin and collarbone length for a very long time. And since I went natural, I went from collarbone length to now about two inches from waist length which is my goal waist length is my goal and i'm almost there but i don't want waist length hair with inches of damage that's not my goal my goal is to have waist length hair healthy waist length hair you know i don't i don't consider reaching my goal if you know i can pull it down to my waist but two three inches up is all damaged the sooner the better i'd rather just do it now and reach my goal in the healthiest way possible. So after I remove this heat damage and um, touch up my color again, I'm really just gonna go back to the basics and really show my hair some like ultra TLC the way that I did when I first started this journey. When I first started, I was so delicate with my hair. I would only finger detangle. I made sure I did a pre-poo every week on the dot let it sit overnight. I've only used sulfate-free sulfate -free shampoo or co-wash, which are all things that I still do. But like now, I use a wide tooth comb. I don't finger detangle like ever. So I'm going to start doing that again. Um, I've been slacking on the pre-poos. I do them like here and there when I feel like it. I'm going to start doing those um, more routinely for sure. I've been doing good with keeping up with like deep conditioning and 
uh, looking at what products I put in my hair. I still only use natural or um, organic products. I haven't strayed too far off, um, but it's just a few things that I'm just gonna go back to the basics and really show my hair that good loving that I was showing it when I first started my journey. And I should be, you know, at my goal in no time. I would think I'm only cutting, I would say, an inch the most, like, all the way around. So, you know, I could I could make up for an inch in no time, for sure. You know, every video I do is, like, planned, and I have my little notes, and I know what I'm going to talk about, I know what I'm going to do. But with this, I'll just look in the mirror, and it's like, before I chop all these ends off right now, let me document it you know i want to show you guys that my hair is not perfect a lot of you think it is but i think i just wake up and my hair is like oh popping curls popping curls and that's not the case um so yeah and also over fashion week my hair went through a lot i recorded a video like two days before fashion week and i like had stretched hair and then for fashion week i had a whole braided faux hawk so my hair has been through a little bit this past week. So I definitely, um, you know, I just want to, I just want to start fresh. And like I said, I just want to document this for you guys. Um, if there's any of you who do have heat damage, whether it's less than mine or more than mine, it's okay to cut it. Like it's okay. Health over length. I'm never going to make anyone feel pressured or feel like you have to have long hair or like long hair is the only beautiful hair. Like, no, I, you know, I don't mind sacrificing my length for the health of my hair. Healthy hair is beautiful. Not long, not short, not straight, not curly, like healthy hair, period. No matter what kind of hair you have or what kind of hair type you have, as long as it's healthy, like that's the most beautiful state you could be in. Like no one likes damaged hair. No curly girl wants any straight pieces throughout her hair at all. So I just wanted to make this real quick. No makeup, no nothing. This was totally just like, I want to record this. So yeah, I'm going to definitely cut these ends off. Probably be, you know, like debuting my new color on YouTube as well. So stay tuned. My appointment is on Tuesday, I believe. So I'm excited and I will definitely um, be showing my color here on YouTube first before anywhere else, before anyone else sees it. I want to share that with you guys. I'm either going for a brown or a red. I haven't decided yet. I've done red before and this was like a redhead orange. And as it grew out, it turned to brown. So it's like, I feel like I've had brown hair too, um, but I've definitely had like full blown red, like probably like my background red. I don't know, I'm still going between uh, red and brown. But we will see. I want to update you guys really quickly before I go through my color transformation um, and trim some of these ends off. And I will be back with my heat damage video. Stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye.